Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day. Hey, you guys, before I wrap up my day, I got to bring you Joanne Butler today. You know I adore her and the information that she brings. She said it's time for making improvements to your home, and it's never been more relevant. So she's got a survey that's going to give us some tips on what we should do. Joanne Butler, welcome back to the Valder BB Show. Hey, Valder. Thanks so much for having me. All right, so tell us about this survey and what did it find? Yeah, well, Lightstream, uh, which is an online lender for people with good credit, commissioned this survey uh, and found that 60% of homeowners say they wish they had more space in their home, no surprise, and more than 70% say spending more time at home because of the pandemic has made them want to make upgrades more than ever before. Um, so, of course, you know, we've seen the housing market just explode as well in the past year. Uh, usually when you buy a home, you know, there's a lot to be done. Uh, kitchens and outdoor improvements are the most popular projects. Uh, and the average anticipated spending on a project is around 11 grand. So you really have to consider what projects you want to prioritize if you're thinking about uh, doing something and really figure out what you can afford and how you're going to pay for it all. I personally say save for it. That's what I had to do because we had to replace the appliances in our kitchen. You need to save for this. But if you don't save for it, how do you finance it? You know, that can make people nervous, especially in this economy, you know, and especially if you're tapping into an emergency fund, it could be scary, you know. 30% yes. actually will use a credit card, but unless you pay those off quickly, you know, you may end up paying really high interest rates over a long repayment timeline, which can make the project a lot more expensive than it needs to be. So, you know, it's important to really consider what your options are first, but if you have good credit, you should consider a home improvement loan. Uh, Lightstream is a great one. Um, it could save you thousands and interest payments compared to charging costs on a credit card. Uh, they have fixed competitive interest rates and you can get loans up to $100,000 with no fees at all, which can be used on any renovation you're doing. And you know what, Valder, you may be able to have funds in your bank account as soon as the same day you apply. So it's pretty amazing, you know? You just go right that to- That is pretty uh, amazing. It is. I it like is. that. It is. You just go right online, lightstream.com. They have a ton of info and FAQ, uh, FAQs on how it all works. Um, I also like them too, Valder, because they care about the environment. They plant a tree through uh, American forests every time they fund a loan. And they've planted more than a million trees. So that tells you something. It's, it's another reason I tout the company. That does. We need more tree. And let me give you full disclosure. We did save for it, but then we had our refrigerator break and we had to finance that. We did have to do that because, you know, that's like buying a new car when you get a refrigerator. <laughs> okay. Should room. Anything else we need to consider when we're thinking of a renovation? Because yeah, so many sure. things come up. You know, speaking of those appliances, there's a backlog right now on supplies and appliances, you know, uh, due to the high demand and supply chain issues. So, you know, think about that. Give yourself time when you're planning a project, you know. Um, we ordered this, just a dishwasher the other day, and it's literally on back order for about eight months. So it's just crazy right now. Um, make sure you get references before you hire a contractor. It sounds simple, but a lot of people People don't realize it that they really should also uh, before you start any project um, always ask your contractor for a contract that includes all the details all the costs all the deliverables and a timeline um, also you know permit process details uh, they should be telling you if you need a permit and they should submit for you um, and also crucial make sure your contractor is licensed and carries the right insurance because you know you need to be able to hold them accountable every single step of the way you know so Important stuff. Also, be demanding up front about your needs and deadlines. You know, the squeaky wheel gets the oil. That's amazing. That's some great information. Do you have anything online that my audience can go and look to? Because you need yeah, to be savvy when you do this. Yeah, definitely check out this loan at lightstream.com, you know, and see if you qualify. 
because uh, it's really it's, it's really important. There's some great, great info on there. All right, then. I might go there and apply, too. Joy and Butler, thank you so very much. Oh, thanks, thanks for having me, Valder. Thanks for coming on today. I'm really so glad I got you on. Thank oh, you. Me, too. Me, too. Always great to talk to you. Have a good one. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.